Once upon a time, in 1730, a ship's crew discovered a new and barren island. The, sh the captain sent 12 sailors to, uh, to the shore to look for water. Among them was a brave explorer who ventured further to see what the land was like. Unfortunately, he found no water, no people, just a rocky landscape as the crew prepared to leave. They spotted a gigantic creature chasing them in the sea. The, the water only reached the cre creature's knees. They hurried back to the ship, row rowing as fast as they could, leaving the explorer behind. He quickly ran back, but on his way he faced a field with extremely tall crops and giant fences that were too big to climb. Suddenly, he saw a massive local man walking towards him. The explorer was so scared that he heard the man had a voice as loud as thunder, and soon six more giants appeared. They were there to harvest the crops with huge tools that looked like giant, giant reaping hooks. One of the giants spotted the explorer and picked him up to look at him closely. The giant was curious and examined the explorer gently before setting him down on the ground. The explorer tried to talk to the giants in many different languages, but they couldn't understand him. The kind giant took the explorer to his house where everything was ginormous. He placed the explorer on the dining table that was as high as a tree. The giant's wife gave him gave the explorer some bread to, uh, crumbs to eat that which were the right size for him. During the meal, a cat as big as a horse started purring nearby and the giant's toddler thought the explorer was a toy and put him in his mouth. Uh, luckily, the giant's wife caught the explorer in her apron just in time, saving the, uh, him from a nasty fall. The night, the explorer was placed on a bed and covered with a clean, white handkerchief. As he lay there, he dreamt of his home, his, his wife, his children, wishing to be back with them in his own world of normal-sized people.